But I mean, I didn't really compute that. The psyche going into that game with that being at the scene of, of DeMar Hamlin's yeah. uh, situation. Yeah, then, there's going to be a lot of emotions. Uh, yeah. and, and the way that the Bengals treated us or played against us in the playoff game where we got kind of embarrassed, maybe this ignites some passion. We need to see some passion with right. the Bills because even though they won last week, it just still didn't, it didn't feel that great. It was, it, was, it was a win, but it was like... It, 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 yeah. it came. It got too close at the end. All right, let's get to it. Show you what's going on uh, today. We've got uh, rain showers that are going to work back into the uh, region this afternoon after getting a break. Look at tonight's low down to 31. So Halloween starting off on a very chilly note uh, with some partial clearing. And then tomorrow, some rain showers, possibly at times mixed with a few snowflakes in the morning. And then again uh, tomorrow night. So here's the break we've been talking about. More showers, though, upstream here uh, that will pivot in as we head into the afternoon. So the rain is not done today, uh, but it will wind down this evening. Um, there we go. Temperatures only in the 40s. There are the showers this afternoon. They move out of here. Uh, we see some clearing as lows plummet into the low 30s. And then the wind becomes southwesterly. We get a little lake effect right near the lakeshore rain shower in the morning, but with temperatures close to freezing, there could be some snow showers mixed in. Uh, Ripley, Dunkirk, maybe up towards, uh, um, you know, even Athol Springs, uh, Hamburg. So this is something to watch for tomorrow morning. Into the afternoon, just a few <clears throat> widely scattered hit and miss showers, and then a few lake effect rain showers uh, tomorrow. Uh, during trick or treaty, not everybody's going to get wet, but it's going to be cool and with a damp feel. But there will be some rain and snow showers overnight Tuesday night into early Wednesday, and then it dries out. Wednesday looking mainly dry, just a couple of flurries. Yeah, flurries possible in the morning. All right, went down to the basement, found the snow map box, unwrapped it, installed it. We're showing it again for the first time since April. Some light snow showers. Buffalo won't see anything stick to the ground, really, Niagara Falls either, but there could be a coating to maybe an inch for the hills in the southern tier. That's for uh, parts of tomorrow into Wednesday morning. Then on Thursday, another southwesterly push of air will enhance another region of rain and snow showers Thursday morning. Dry weather Friday, Saturday, another chance of some showers come Sunday because it's a weekend and on the weekends here it rains, right? Because <laughs> it's done that so often recently. Uh, rain showers again this afternoon for the South Towns and the Southern Tier. Rain and snow showers tomorrow. Uh, also, some lingering snowflakes into Wednesday for the Southern Tier. Rain and snow showers Thursday, dry Friday, Saturday, more rain showers on Sunday.